Now that the growing season is here, farmers are thinking about applying nutrients back onto land. These nutrients come in two forms. It can be chemical fertiliser, which for us is usually what we call bag manure, or it can be organic fertilisers. This takes the form of soil, water, effluents, farmyard manure and slurry. The problem is we're getting a loss of nutrients to water, which is causing a decrease in our water quality in this country. So we've got to remember to abide by the buffer zones. Now, what is a buffer zone? A buffer zone is a no spread zone that we must keep nutrients back from waters. And what these buffer zones are is for chemical fertilizer, two meters back from surface waters, this includes dry drains. For organic fertilizer, we must keep five meters back from surface waters, also always including dry drains. If you have land that has a slope of over 10% towards waters, you must keep 10 meters back of a buffer zone. If you have a karst limestone feature or swallow holes on your land, these are extremely sensitive and so you extend back to 15 metres with your buffer zone in these cases. Some people would have land which is bordering on a lake and the rule here is that you keep your organic manures 20 metres back from the lake shore. Anybody that has land near a water extraction point which is used for human consumption the buffer zone there can vary anything from 25 to 200 metres and this is something you should check with your local council. In all cases, if you're in any doubt about the buffer zones, please do ring your advisor prior to applying any of these nutrients.